Well, hello everybody. And one thing that I have absolutely loved this week is that football is back. Grace, did you know football's back? Yes, I did. Did you know I've been watching all the football? Yes, I did. <laughs> well, I tell you what, let's watch a little bit more football now. Perfection. Oh, oh, great, oh, it's Liverpool. Oh, oh. Should have been in reverse. Mane's forced to get Come on. Go on. Go on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Oh, another one. Oh. oh. Well. Liverpool's so great. I tell you what, I've absolutely been loving watching this football. And one of the things that I've been doing lots of, well, I've been doing a lot of fantasy football. And that's where I pick all of my best players. Hmm, it's probably time that I start thinking about my fantasy football team and which players I want in my team. Oh yeah, I'm definitely going to have him. He's the best. Oh, he's so fast. Oh, and he's so good at scoring goals. Oh, no, no, maybe. No, he's also pretty good as well. And he gets lots and lots and lots of assists. Oh no, but he, he is the best footballer in the world. I have to have him in my team. Hmm. I wonder what Grace is thinking about. Hmm. I bet Tim's thinking about his fantasy football team. And I bet he's going to go for all the strongest and fastest players that score all the goals. But there are so many other players he could choose from. They may not score all the goals, and they may not be as fast, but I bet they have a part to play. No one ever picks them. It's sad that no one picks them. Maybe if I had a fantasy football team, I could pick them. Well, that's enough football for today. Yeah, let's see what we're doing this week in Might and Kids. Jacob's wedding was anything like our wedding, <laughs> but um, here's a little bit from our wedding. Well, that was a really special day. 
Have you guys ever been to a wedding? Well, let's take a look at what happens in today's story when Jacob gets married. There were once two sisters. The youngest sister was very beautiful, and her name was Rachel. But the oldest sister wasn't beautiful at all. Some thought her quite ugly, and her name was Leah. One day, their cousin Jacob came to stay. Jacob stayed a long time working for his uncle Laban. One day, Laban said, Jacob, I've decided to pay you for your work. How about one of my daughters? Jacob looked at Rachel, and then he looked at Leah. Who would he choose? Of course he chose Rachel. I'll work seven years for free, Jacob said, if I can marry your daughter Rachel. So, Jacob worked seven years, and at last his wedding day arrived. But that night, Laban played a nasty trick on Jacob. Instead of sending Rachel to marry Jacob, he sent Leah into the dark tent. And besides, women wore veils so you couldn't see their faces properly. So, Jacob suspected absolutely nothing. The next morning, Jacob woke up and screamed. His new wife was lying beside him, but it wasn't Rachel, it was Leah. Jacob jumped out of bed. Laban, he cried, you scoundrel. But Laban said, work for me another seven years and you can marry Rachel. So Jacob worked for Laban another seven years and at last Rachel became his wife. Now, Jacob had two wives, but of his two wives, he loved Rachel the best. No one loves me, Leah said. I'm too ugly. But God didn't think she was ugly. And when he saw that Leah was not loved and that no one wanted her, God chose her to love her specially, to give her a very important job. One day, God was going to rescue the whole world through Leah's family. Now, when Leah knew that God loved her in her heart, suddenly it didn't matter anymore whether her husband loved her the best or if she was the prettiest, someone had chosen her. Someone did love her. With a never stopping, never giving up, unbreaking, always and forever love. So when Leah had a baby boy, she called him Judah, which means this time I will praise the Lord. And that's just what she did. When God looked at Leah, he saw a princess. And sure enough, that's exactly what she became. One of Leah's children's children's children would be a prince the Prince of Heaven, God's Son. This Prince would love God's people. They wouldn't need to be beautiful for Him to love them. He would love them with all of His heart, and they would be beautiful because He loved them. Like Leah. Well, Grace, when we got married, it was very different to when Jacob got married. There was singing, and there was lots of people there, and I could definitely see your face. I knew it was you who I was getting married to. But this wasn't the case when Jacob and Leah got married. See, poor Leah thought that nobody loved her and nobody had picked her. You know, Tim, this reminds me of how when you're picking your fantasy football team, mm -hmm. you always pick the strongest, most popular football players but you seem to forget those that aren't as popular or strong and, you know, as if the others aren't as important. Yeah, Leah thought that no one loved her and that no one picked her. But in fact, God chose her to do a really important thing. You see, God used Leah, who had been rejected, as part of his rescue plan. Leah's, well, Leah was the great, 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 great grandmother. And uh, maybe a couple more yeah, greats. of Jesus. And like Leah, Jesus was rejected. But because of what Jesus did by dying on the cross for us, forgiving our sins, and then raising back to life again, it means that we can be friends with God. Although Jesus' death might have looked like a failure to others, it was actually his death that saved us. And it saved us, and it means that he died in our place. Mm. Isn't that amazing? Because of Jesus' death, we can be friends with God. Shall we sing a song now, all about that? Yeah, let's sing.
now we're free to live the life that we were made for. One with God above, living as His children. We trust in His words, knowing You fulfill them. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you that You died for us. We will always thank you, Jesus. Thank you. or loved. Just like Leah, just like Jesus. Well we hope you have a fantastic week this week and we look forward to seeing um, you all next week. Bye bye! bye. <laughs> <laughs>